Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Prepping for K Learning Station show. We're going to go ahead and get started because we have a new activity that you're going to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the kindergarten readiness goals that you're going to learn about today. The first thing we're going to do is identify basic colors. With the activity we're doing today, you're going to see different objects in different colors. So you're going to be able to tell me what color object you see. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to match objects with numerals, with numbers up to 10. So you're going to be able to match numbers with objects. And I'm going to go ahead and show you these are the objects I'm using today. So if you have these at your house, they're actually called clothes pins. You can go and grab those in just a second. So I have different colored clothespins, and you are going to use clothespins with me if you have them at your house. But if you don't, don't be sad, because you can always work with me. You're also going to learn how to recognize numbers. Here's just a few of those numbers that you're going to be able to recognize, okay? And then we're going to work on your fine motor skills. We're going to work on those fine motor skills by squeezing these clothespins. These are going to make your fingers super strong. And the last thing I didn't put up there was this kindergarten readiness goal. This one is following simple directions. So I am going to tell you what you're going to need today for your materials. I'm going to use these little circles with different numbers on them. So if you want to grab a piece of paper and you can write these numbers down if you want to, that will be perfectly fine. If you don't, that's fine too. You will also need clothespins. They don't have to be colored, just any kind of clothespin. They can be the normal clothespin like this, just a normal tan or brown or whatever you want to call that color. All right, so you will need clothespins. For this activity, maybe a piece of paper if you want it, and that's it. So, oh, you'll need a marker if you're going to write your numbers. I'm sorry. So, Miss Bacon's going to count to 15 while you go get your materials, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Guess what? That time I counted faster than I've counted on any of my other shows. So hopefully you ran really fast and you're back and ready to learn. All right, so let's tune in so we can get started. I'm going to turn you down so you can see my little space that I have ready for you. All right, so we are going to start with this number. And I want to know, do you know what number this is? What number is that? That's right. That's the number one. If you did not know, that is the number one. Can you say one? Great job. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this green. I have a green clothespin. Yours may just be a normal color, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be green, but you are going to squeeze it with your two fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger. You're going to squeeze that clothespin so it can open its mouth just like an alligator. And then you're going to put it on your shirt or on your piece of paper. But remember, you're just doing one clothespin because this is the number one. Can you help me click count my clothespins? One. Great job. We're all done with the number one. The next number we're going to do is right here. Do you know what number this is? That's right. It's the number three. So I'm going to count and you count with me. I'm going to put three clothespins on my number three. Help me count. One, 
two, three. All right, and help me count one more time. I want to hear you. One, two, three. Great job, friends. All right, do you know what number this is? That's right, that's the number five. So we're gonna have to put five clothespins on the number five. Can you help me count? This time, I'm gonna put yellow clothespins on the number five. So help me count. One, two, three, four, five. I put five clothespins on the number five. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five. Great job, friends. Do you know what number this is? That's right, it's the number two. Wow, you're super smart. This time, I'm going to use purple. I'm going to use purple, and I'm only going to put two clothespins on this number two. Can you help me count? One, two. Great job. And you're going to help me one more time. Are you ready? One. Two, and we only did two clothespins because that is the number two. All right, on to the next number. Do you know what number this is? And remember, this number can be um, wrote two different ways. This is a different way, but do you know what number it is? That's right, it's the number four. So I'm gonna put four clothespins on this number four. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. All right, and we're gonna count one more time the brown clothespins. Help me count, one, two, three, four. Great job. All right, now let's look at this number. Woo, this is a big number. Do you know what number that is? That's right, that's the number 10. So I'm actually going to use orange this time, and you're going to help me count to 10. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Wow, that's a big number and it also has a lot of clips. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Friends. All right, what about this number? Do you know what number that is? Wow, you're smart. That's right. That's the number seven. So this time I'm going to use pink clips for my number seven. 
Can you help me count? One. Uh oh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Wow. And remember, we're going to count one more time. Help me count. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job, friends. All right, now we're going to go to this number. Do you know what number that is? Eight. That's right. That's the number eight. So, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to use a different color this time. It's called gray. I'm going to use gray clothespins. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job. So help me count my gray clothespins one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Great job, friends. Now this one, I'm going to try to trick you. It has a circle at the bottom. So what number do you think that is? What number do you think that is? Has a circle at the bottom. You're right, it is the number six. So you're gonna help me count six orange clothespins. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job, friends. Now we're gonna count one more time. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, you're super smart. Guess what? We're down to our last number. This number has a circle at the top. Do you know what number that is? Yes, you're right. It's the number nine. So you're going to help me count nine clothespins. Are you ready? One. Uh oh. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count to make sure. One, can't hear you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Great job, friends. So guess what? You did everything we needed to do for our show today. You actually recognize numbers. You also match those numbers with objects, which are objects for closed pins. You also identified the colors of the clothespins, and you use your fine motor skills to make your fingers strong by squeezing the clothespins. 
If I went too fast, you can always press pause and go a little bit slower. And guess what? You can watch this video over and over and over again until you can do all of the kindergarten readiness goals. But guess what? Miss Bacon's done for the day. So until the next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.